All right, lights, laughter, and libations, three of my favorite things. Once again, filling up the historic Sanger Theater tonight. This after being closed following the October 2019 Hard Rock collapse. The theater reopened its doors a couple of months later in December. However, the emergence of the coronavirus shut off the spotlight indefinitely. But tonight, the theater once again illuminated inside and out. And WDSE News reporter Shay O'Connor is live outside the Sanger. And Shay, lots of unscripted excitement. We imagine, which is no surprise, right? That's right, Sella and Gita. Now, the people that I spoke with tonight tell me that they really could use a good laugh, and they are in store. The comedian Sebastian, I'm not even going to try to say his last name, but he had two shows right here, comedian shows here. One is actually going on right now. Folks I spoke with say they just want to take it all in. We just need some laughter in our lives with COVID. It's been a sad time. So excited to be going back to live shows at the Sanger Theater. It's our favorite place. Thursday, the crowds were out, helping to bring back a real gym in the city. The Sanger Theater pulling back its curtains for the first time in more than a year amid the pandemic. It means the world to see things getting back open, uh, seeing things return to normal, get, have events come back. We, we can't wait. The building is still standing after nearly 100 years and definitely has a big history here in New Orleans. When Hurricane Katrina ravaged the city back in 2005, the Sanger had to shut its doors for eight years. Then again for about two months following the collapse of the Hard Rock Hotel in October of 2019, the theater would stay open for only weeks before COVID turned the lights off yet again. David Skinner says in May of last year, nearly all of the staff were furloughed. We are just now starting in the past 30 to 45 days, bringing our staff back in stages. But Skinner says he can't get back all of the shows that were canceled. It's just lost revenue and all we can do is lick our wounds and just move on from there. Of course, in this round of reopening, a life is a lot different. Everyone at the theater must wear a mask, among other safety protocol in mitigating the spread of the virus. But for those who got a chance to witness another reopening of the Sanger, it's all worth it. And the mask, it's not a problem as long as we can have live entertainment. It's been missed so much. Now, managers here expect for the Sanger Theater to be fully back by September. But in the meantime, they're just hoping that people will just enjoy the shows. For now, reporting live from downtown New Orleans, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.